Welcome to our new agent uh, interview with Airborne. So, hello. Um, yes, this is Sridi and this is Rosie. So, first of all, how are you? Good, going good. And is it your first time in Zurich? No, I think we played here to start a, we did a status quo gig. I can't remember where that was. It was okay. back in June of 2008. That was because we were doing all the festival tours. But okay. um, I actually, I, I can't remember where we've been. We've been yes. all over the place. Well, I was thinking about um, that I can teach you something from Switzerland. So the popular uh, greeting is Grüzi. Grüzi. So, so maybe you can try it again. Uh, Grüzi. 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 Yeah, that's, that's actually great. not bad because we've got Grüzi. a word from our hometown called Gazi. I got to know. Which just means cool. Like, oh, okay. oh that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so it's similar to groups. No, so I'm from Germany, but I, I moved to Switzerland, and yes, and everybody told you uh, Grüzi. So um, your founding year is 2003. That's right. What has changed for you since then? Uh, well, you know, we started in you know, hometown, Warmall, mm -hmm. back in, uh, in Australia, and uh, then we moved to Melbourne from there. And, uh, you know, I used to work in a bar with Joel, I just walked in then. Oh, okay. Years, that's, where we, that's where we met. And we started kind of formed from there, and then we moved to Melbourne and played there for a number of years, and yeah. and uh, just things grew from there. You know, with getting management and uh, yeah. promoters and stuff like it's that. It's very exciting. And uh, ended up with Roadrunner, uh, with a mm -hmm. you know, little base in America, and now we are touring all over the place. And how did you get to uh, Roadrunner? Uh, well, originally signed with Capital um, back in 2006, and we did the Running Wild album through them, and. And they had a corporate takeover with another label, so they had to get rid of a lot of bands and a lot of yes. their own staff got made redundant. So uh, and then we went, uh, played South by Southwest, that music convention they had in, uh, in Texas. Okay. And we, we played there and we had our album back, the first album, cause, yeah. um, which was lucky you know, from the label. And then right on, yeah, picked us up. We've been okay, with them that's since really then. Cool. I think it's been going three years we've been with them. Okay, so yeah. you're lucky with them. Yeah, they're a really great label. They're more of a metal and rock label as well. So, and they uh, take care of you and your music and... They do, yeah. They get behind their bands and they, they're touring. Yeah. They, they let a band grow the old-fashioned way by just, you know, getting them on the road and touring yeah. where some of those, some labels can just be, you know, for the hits and I think Capital were a bit like that, you know. Yeah. I mean, the road um, can you tell me something about your most impressive moment uh, with or within Airborne? Most impressive? Oh, or the just most important moment. Just some of the shows we've played, I guess, and some of the bands we've supported, like, yeah. you know, we've supported yeah, the likes of Motorhead yeah. and Status Quo. Yeah, and, so cool. And uh, we played probably uh, Wacken Open Air, the yeah. big metal festival in Germany, and that's probably the biggest we've ever played. Okay. It's in front of 80,000 people. Okay. So, yeah, well, there's been just some good that's achievements cool. with shows we've played and bands we've supported. And cool. So I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I don't know whether I'm right, but I think uh, you had the chance to meet the Rolling Stones. Yeah, that's okay, right. Okay, and uh, did the boys meet your expectations? Uh, well, we didn't hang out with them for long, but they were cool guys. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, they were cool, they were just hanging out and all drinking still and stuff. Just come over, over, drinking is going. important <laughs> yeah, yeah. for a relationship. For a rock band, it's definitely important. <laughs> yes, that and, uh, so. Yeah, they were great, they were real friendly, they come and had a photo with us. and. Yeah, she's boys love to show and stuff, so yeah, okay. it's good to meet them, yeah, legends. That's cool. <laughs> yes, as we already talked about your founding year, um, now you grow older, as everybody <laughs> on the world, and does it have any impact to your music, to your songs, uh, to if your not, lyrics? If not, I reckon it's been a bit healthier for us, because like, all the touring we've done together as okay. a band, we've become more of a machine, yeah. we've become tighter, and the only way to, to, to become that is to just used to be out on the road and playing yeah. shows night after night. And I reckon, yeah, it's just, if not, we've become kind of tighter and better as a band. So I will ask you again in 10 years, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I uh, read the lyrics of your song, of your latest song, and um, I will, I will uh, give you an extract. I had a good job and a good loving woman, but the world fell apart and then I lost her. I can't bear to lose, I'll be over to fight. Can't drink enough whiskey to make it all right. Is it a true story? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, you know, Joel's our lyricist, so it's probably a question more for him. I don't know what goes through his head. I think it's more <laughs> to do with, um, not personally us, but more of a thing that happens to everyone in general. And then everyone's like, how did women and they lose the women and they yes. get on them drink and yeah. Yeah, make okay. it all right? You know? <laughs> so, uh, whiskey is an important thing, thing. thing. Yeah. <laughs> in relationships. Feels uh, yeah, <laughs> Compared with ACDC, mm -hmm. and um, 
what are the differences between ACDC and uh, your music? No, well, we're, we're kind of like ACDC is probably one of the biggest influences yeah. on our stuff, but we're kind of a cross between Motorhead and ACDC. Yeah. Where just a lot of our, uh, you know, you can listen to some old ACDC albums. They're very bluesy with yes. their dicks and riffs. We're more, we're more just kind of hard driven with uh, that Motorhead style, okay. the speed of Motorhead, okay. with just the hard hitting riffs of ACDC. But and also Rose Tattoo is another been yeah. another Aussie band. Yeah, yeah, being yeah. big because they were pretty big around Europe as well. They were, um, yeah. Just as big an influence on us as well, but it's, it's the Australian sound, okay. you know, with ACDC, with those tattoo tattoo, with the Angels, it just seems to be that yeah. the Aussie rock and roll sound that we love playing. So, as, can you tell me something about your new album? I think it's the most important question today. <laughs> Somebody told me. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, we're releasing 18 track in it with the um, yeah special editions. Right? Yeah. Special edition uh, has come out with um, you know uh, there was. Uh, with a bunch of B-sides, a compliment, you know, what are they called? Composite songs we recorded yeah. after the album. So, um, yeah, I don't know, it's a bit more uh, it's diverse, a little bit more than the yeah. first album, okay. a bit more colourful, I reckon, just with um, just a good mixture of good songs and still rocking. Yeah. So I think yeah. it's also important for you to develop your music, music yeah. and your lyrics. Uh, totally, and yeah. Everything yeah, around. I think it's a step forward to, okay. you know, it's better than a step growing, forward. yeah, definitely, <laughs> <laughs> even staying stable. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, bigger sound, bigger yeah. songs, a lot, of, a lot more interesting bits going on. More yeah. exciting. We've all become better players since our first album, so we can all incorporate that into the yeah. album now. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. A lot of that stuff was written and inspired from touring around the first album yeah, as well. I can imagine. Can you tell me uh, something about your last shocking scandal? So well, you're a rock band. Yes. <laughs> We've had a scandal. I didn't know we had a scandal. Yes, <laughs> I, I don't know. So I was asking you. So maybe you can tell me something uh, about your rock and roll life, sex, drugs, rock and roll, and uh, yeah, the whole same. thing. Yeah, same. Sex, drink on the road stays on the road. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite uh, brand of whiskey? Oh, uh, there's, there's a few whiskey. There's a few whiskey drinkers in the band and the yeah. crew actually. Um, oh, we got bottles of Oban. Okay. Got Marangi, um, the other one. Jack Daniels. <laughs> Jack yeah. Daniels, yeah, everybody knows. Real <laughs> stuff. If I would come to Australia, uh, which region uh, would you um, recommend for um, festivals and concerts? The concerts, yeah, we have big day out festivals there. It seems to be a nationwide big one. That just tours through all, to all the cities. Okay. But um, we're from Victoria, the small state yeah. down, okay. down the bottom end. That's pretty, pretty nice dry down there. It's pretty. Uh, Melbourne's a cool rock city because that's yeah. where we kind of. You know, you can cut out. Yeah, there's a lot of festivals down there. There's um, there's the Merida Festival, which is just like a a field, and they have a big festival in there where everyone's allowed to bring their own booze and mm. just get drunk and hang out. It's a okay. great time. Yeah, <laughs> and then there's cool. um, yeah, there's like the lawn. They have the um Falls Festival over New Year's. That's yeah. always good. It's like a three day camping festival, and you just Okay. That's summer. Yeah, summer there when it's winter like here. Summer, yeah. But you really want a couple of months here in Australia. Go. I've seen more of America and Europe than I have in my own country. Um, is there a difference between uh, several audience in the countries? Yeah. So in, are the um, German people a special one or the? There, there uh, seems to be Europe's. The US or the Australian? It's kind of like, um, oh, like Europe's got more, you know, well, bigger population over yeah. here, only small, but. You know, at the end of the day, rock fans are all, all the same, you know, they kind of they love rock and roll, rock it's like yeah. a lifestyle, yeah. as well as just music, you know, it's kind of, and you get the same kind of rock fans all around the world, but it's yeah. just, just over here, there's just, there's bigger crowds and more rock festivals and more yeah. more people to play to. Okay. But, um, yeah, it's kind of, it is similar where it's, certain countries go harder than others or... Or, or drink more, consume more alcohol than others. But Maybe UK or... <laughs> yeah, oh, probably all. Well, last night was pretty wild in Munich. The Germans uh, yeah. love, love their beer, so... And, uh, <laughs> yes, we're yet to see I tomorrow. can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> and do we have plans for uh, your next concerts? Uh, like as in tonight's concerts? Yes. Or? Yeah, oh no, we'll just, uh, you know, it's a bigger bigger show we're doing yeah. here. With, um, because we've got two albums, a sculptor set around and... Just a bigger and better show again, and we play for a bit longer as well. Yeah, okay. So just still the same. Well, no, it's not the same. It's different, but it's still yes. crazy. Thank you very much. It was no very worry. exciting to meet you here, and um, I hope all the best for you and your future. And Thanks. have fun, enjoy your stay. And um, this was Agent uh, Agent Lulu, Lulu for Agent Lynette. <laughs> so thank you.